But this uh, transformation of the training set is defined in such a way that the first principal component, remember principal component is an eigenphase, shows the most dominant direction or features of the data set and each succeeding component in turn shows the next most possible dominant direction or features under the constraint that it be uncorrelated to the preceding components. Now in short what it's saying is that in for example in face recognition this was our set of principal components that are that is our eigenfaces. Now what happens is that when the eigenfaces are calculated the first principal component, the first eigenface always depicts uh, the major uh, you see features of the data set. You see over there here this person, this eigenface looks most like a proper face and then we have the preceding ones, the preceding eigenfaces, that is the preceding com uh, principal components. As you can see, as you go from left to right, the principal component number is increasing, that is, these have been calculated after one another, going this way, and as you go further and further down to right till the end of the eigenfaces, the last principal components calculated, you see that there are lesser features and more noise. You see, you can't really make out what this uh, this vector is trying to say, what this principal component is trying to depict actually. So this transformation, these principal components are calculated in this manner. Now to reduce calculations needed for to find these principal components, that is the eigenfaces, the dimensionality of the original data set is reduced before they are calculated. You see, uh, it, for example, that if we do not reduce the dimensionality, the eigenfaces required will be n square. You could say, for example, um, uh, 50 times more than these that have, uh, this amount that we have found. But after we reduced the dimensionality of the training set, the training set of the images, the original data set, then we were able to have our calculations and we only needed to find just these few principal components, these few eigenfaces. So that's the benefit of reducing the dimensionality, that it reduces your calculation efforts. PCA does that for you, by the way. Uh, your calculations reduce and the calculations also get faster because we will we'll see how they get faster. Now, since principal components, that is eigenfaces, show the directions of the data, and each preceding component shows less direction and more noise, just as we saw in the image before. Only few first principal components, say K, told K, are selected, whereas the rest of the last components are discarded. Now, these K principal components can safely represent the whole original dataset because they depict the major features, directions that make up the dataset. Having a look once again at the image we had before, for example, this were, these were the total eigenfaces that we had calculated after reducing the dimensionality. And even from these, we could actually only select the most useful, K useful eigenfaces. How they are selected, they are selected heuristically by um, uh, artificial intelligence methods and etc. However, that's not what I'm going to explain. But have a look at this. See, this is the first eigenphase, the second, third, and so on, till the KF eigenphase. Now, the uh, idea behind it is, I already mentioned that the last eigenfaces, the last principal components, depict more and more noise in, uh, in the data set. So they're not very useful. In fact, they could hinder the good results of uh, your predictive model. So the key is to discard these last noisy uh, eigenfaces or principal components and only keep the K useful eigenfaces. Select only these and now the whole data set, the training set of M images can be represented in terms of these eigenfaces. Oh, by the way, note that these eigenfaces have no relation to the training set I showed you before, but this is just for example sake to make the concept clear, I have used this image.